Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back here to the Hawaii Esports League Championships Spring 2023, brought to you by Vanta and the Hawaiian Telecom. My name is Kyler K. Ted Tandle. Joining me, Colton Coltoon 2000 on the desk. And we have here the final match, not only of the night, but of the weekend. And of course, we're ending it here with Rocket League on the desk. And all right, Colton, we've got <laughs> some. I'll, I'll save you on it. I'll announce the teams, but then we'll have you see how well you do between this matchup of Prince David Kawananako Middle School and Kailua Intermediate, the two teams facing off before us. They played their semifinal matches off stream, off stage, but now they're getting ready for the final show, the final match here in the arena. Yeah, we get to see them on the camera here prepping, getting ready to go. Wave to the camera, guys. You guys are on TV. You guys are on stream, so make sure you guys go and say hi to your parents if they're not standing right behind you. But again, right, we're prepping for this match. You were talking about it. They played their semifinals matches off stream. Uh, Kailua winning against Evo Mokai, the defending champions from last semester, 4-2. to two. It was a close game, but they had very much close, uh, you know, uh, matches where it went one-sided. I got to walk over there and watch Kailua win a 4-1 to one match against Evo Mokai. So definitely had their dominant matches, had their very close matches as well. On the other side, though, Kwananakoa, they beat Dole Middle School 4-0. to zero. So very dominant showing from there. We're going to have to see what happens when the two clash in the finals in just a little bit as we're prepping them up in the lobby. Yeah, absolutely. And you saw there on screen, I think my one comment to Colton before we started this matchup and Kailu, I 100% respect the drip game. Last year they had nice uniforms and everything, but this year showing up with that gold plated, that crest, you know, you love to see it when teams are coordinated. You love to see it when everyone shows up in style and it looks like without further ado, folks, we are here. We're on the pitch and we are ready to go. Game number one. Kailua on the blue, Kawan Makoa on the orange, and let's see how they do. Yeah, looking to get a little bit of an early push here. Shot onto the goal, will be able to find it. Actually going to slip on through, and that's going to be the opening goal for Kawan Makoa, starting it off extremely strong. Yeah, I mean, look at this, in the face of two defenders, Madden wanted to get there square, not quite able to drift around and get that block in time. All right, within the first 11 seconds, Kwan and Nicole picks it up and gets it through. Now, option to Kailua does need to get it outside of their half of the field, and it looks like that will be the case. Not a lot of boost on the clock for them so far, so the test touch up in the sky right now. Madden looking for an angle, but ripple defense in the backside for Kwan and Nicole. Nothing else doing. They're still managing to just keep it out, but that could have been dangerous. Dangerous indeed. Having an open goal, triple committing onto this wall. Will they be able to punish for that? No, not just yet. But we we'll able to find the shot, but not going to land it square there to block it off. And again, the, the control of the ball is so important in the game of Rocket League. Being able to, who has possession at the right times so and the shot going to go deep. Will it be able to find the goal? Ooh. It will. Oh. As the save, not able to come on through. And a second goal coming through for Kwan and Akua. Yeah, I mean, and we're seeing it there, right? as that it is just a tight but yeah the excitement is there from both sides we see the replay after it all it is just a lot of that triple commit that we're seeing out of Kailua right it causes them to scramble right once the ball comes out those long shots deep that was almost a commit from Sub-Zero not quite able to close it out just yet either and so now Kawan Nicole once again gets it out deep from the side this time Kailua a little bit more wise to it able to hold the line and put a little bit more defense down the backfield, stands pushing across for now. Another another triple commit now. This time for Quan and Nicole. As you see, all three members on the field looking for the tap square. Gets a nice save up in the sky, and now they get to go on the offense. And you get to watch all these players going into the air, trying to find a little bit of aerial control. But unfortunately, just not able to keep the ball in the possession. A lot of this fight going down midfield. Madden going to be able to take a shot. Not able to find anything. The bomb going to save that for the team and look to get it back onto the opponent's side. Again, this back and forth is going to continue, but these shots coming from the air are so dangerous. Yeah, but I think look at that. When you have moments like that from Juan and Nicole, the coordinated or the multi-defense can be good when everyone hits their mark or everyone's there. But that triple commit, even on a defense, means that the retouch, right? That second hit, that second tap from Kailua, if they are in the right position to capitalize, could be their window, could be their opening. As they look for those types of plays, Madden again downfield, wants to bounce it off, but instead, Albu wants to push it back out. 
Not to do it just yet as they are just staying on this half of the field. Another touch, another miss as it is just pushed back out. Nice contest in the middle though from Square. Looking like he wants to get there. Has the speed, pushes it up against the left side. Madden looking for another shot but just the angle off by just a hair. That means now nobody else able to get this next hit. Nobody else able to get the next touch. As they all stand inside. Bomb Flosser wants it in. Not able to do it just yet. Boo Boo again for the shot. Not able to get saved. Sub Zero just not quite able to get high enough in the air. And that's another goal for Kwan on the call. Yeah, you saw it there. Madden tried to just take it perfectly off that wall, clear it out of the space, but unfortunately catching the wrong side of the car and dropping it right down in front. Just not able to react in time to that shot against the wall. Maybe worried about the double in that scenario, but Demo gonna come out really early in the midfield after kickoff here. That will just simply reset the car, nothing happening with that. But again, these goals and the pressure from Guanajuato is so strong. Just look at how well they're able to play the ball off the wall. And now it forces Ooh. Kailua to play into their own field. Madden trying to make something do of it. Shot going to come on, not able to go as it's wide to the right. And the clear going to come on out. Will it be able to find anything? Going to push up off the backboard. Is anyone able to follow it up? No on the first, oh. but the second to hit it in. Not going to find it. And again, the pressure coming off of Kwan and Nicole, but just not able to find the back of the net. And not able to do it, but you are seeing signs of life here from Kailua. Not much time left on the clock, but we are seeing adaptations that I think could be very valuable moving forward into this series as they are starting to recoup their losses, starting to figure out where the windows of opening are. It's a nice touch, but unfortunately, nobody home not able to close out the open net. That means now Kailua on the offense pushing it forward. Madden has an angle. It does get bumped back, but it's a nice counter. Demo there means they've got man advantage, but instead nothing else doing. Madden jumps downfield to try and cover this off on the defense. Gets it up, gets it over. Just to get it out, though, that's the problem. Square pushes forward. It's a slow roller, but another nice contest means that Square gets it through. They still can't keep getting it over. Sub-Zero on another contest means that he clears it. And now Madden gets to move down the field. Open that for now, Dead. oh, just off the side, not quite there for the angle. And that means Kailua still triple commit, everyone down here on the field. They're gonna feel back now, but they still want this goal. Looking for maybe even just to change this momentum towards the end of the game, even if they can't win game one. Again, this is a best of seven series. There's a lot more Rocket League to play. And a simply just being able to take the momentum into game number two, you kind of got the read on Juan and Nicole just a little bit. They're playing so much more offense now. And you look oh. for maybe the goal, but not able to find it. Madden, hoping to look the shot, but won't be able to make contact. And this is just going to be the end of the game. Four seconds left to go. And, you know, sadly, you're down three goals, but you kind of got the feel for what Juan and Nicole is doing, right? They take the lead one to zero. Kailua needs to make a little bit of the changes, but they're there. They're making the adaptions already. You saw how much offense was coming out towards the end of the game. The rotations looked a lot cleaner. And if you can take those changes into game number two, this game could be a lot closer. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, really, when we think about that game and we think about how that played out, right, it really was Kwan and Nicole jumping out to an early lead in those first opening minutes, right, when everyone's still trying to figure it out, everyone trying to settle in, right? You call it the land jitters. You get them shaken out a little bit, right? You know, there's obviously, this is very different from playing at home, right? You're not playing in you know your own room in the comfort of your own ho house, or even if you play at school with your friends there, right? It's not the same. It's not the same as a live environment, a crowd behind you, a crowd in the field, everyone there watching you and just you know <laughs> reacting to your plays live in venue. That's something that's not normal or not common for a lot of these players, especially being at a middle school level, right? I mean, this is probably some of the first times you would ever get to compete for esports. So very, very interested to see how this series is going to adapt and change as we go. The rest of them now still recouping. You can see it, the coaches behind them getting ready, getting their players ready for a match. And it looks like we are about ready to go into game number two here with Kwan Nicole on the lead 1-0. And just like that, here we are back on the field and into the game. Kailua looks like they won the kickoff. And for now, they are going to press forward as best they can. Yeah, loading on to the rainy fields of Beck with Park. Able to see what they're going to be able to do here on game number two. And, you know, Rugby League is such a short game. It, if you lose game number one, sometimes it doesn't matter. 
Right? We've seen it at so many different levels where game number one is sometimes just a feeler. You might lose it and the game might just flip once you're able to figure out where your comfort zone is, what their rotations is like, and how you want to adapt. And we're already seeing that coming through. Kazuo making the changes, able to take a little bit more pressure, a little bit more control here as the ball is going to be roaming up the center on the side of Juan and up. Nice demo there. Still trying to figure out where they want to go. Defense holding strong. That's the first open look, but just not able to get the right angle on it. Square wants to need to recover, actually. As you see Sub-Zero waiting in the net. Now the double push up. Kailua takes it airborne, gets it across. Sub-Zero with another contest. Not able to do it there, but Square now pushing forward. Downfield, open net. Not quite able to get it just yet. Instead, push it forward. And now Bomb Flosser also gets a little bit more the middle of the field, pushing out for now, but great aerial defense from the side of Juan Nicole. keeps that ball center, keeps it away, square for an angle touch, but Boo Boo right there stops that one cold in its tracks. And that means Kailua now playing defense themselves, pushing it back out. So if they're wanting the shot, they're going to move forward. Actually, Dret sends Bob Foster back to his own goal just to make sure they can cover this off. Madden with an aerial, looking for a two, not able to do it. And that means Juan and Nicole gets to clear the net. Yeah, a little bit of confidence maybe building up for Kailua, looking there for the flip reset. You know, something maybe they weren't even comfortable doing in game number one, and that shows the changes that are being made. Square able to find the bump, not able though to find the back of the net. And these clears are so crucial to each of these teams. The dribble gonna come out from the bump loss, but not gonna find anything more than midfield and a constant back and forth. We're still 0-0. Zero zero. We're nearly halfway through the match, but that's not going to matter. sub is going to find the back of the net, and that's going to be the lead going in favor of Kailo here in game number two. Look at that. I mean, you love to see it. Sub-Zero takes matters into his own hands. A beautiful mid-air touch there. Gets Kailo on the board for the first time this series. 1-0 lead. About half of the time on the clock in regulation. Oh! Ah, <laughs> uh, yep. Happens sometimes. We're gonna talk yeah, about it. We're gonna yeah, talk yeah. about it. We move on. We move on. They're, they're predicting the other guy's movement, you know? Like, ah, he's gonna hit it. And then the other guy's like, ah, he's gonna hit it. And so instead, they both go wide, but instead, it's faster paced momentum from Kailo on this one. You're seeing it there. They're rushing downfield very, very quickly. I think they figured out that adaptation point there of, okay, maybe we don't triple commit and leave themselves wide open, but they are double committing and they are pushing it downfield as fast as they can quickly do it. Madden almost gets a touch, but not able to do it just yet. One of the call, meanwhile, playing defense, pushing it out. Madden with another one, Ariel sends it to the right side, keeping it on the orange half of the field. You see it there, square, ready to head this off, ready to push out, but this is his shot. Madden gonna bounce it back over, taking control. Does for Squad and Nicole to retreat a little bit as Bomb Foster up in the air looking for the assist, but everybody whips it! Ball in the open! Square gets it out, clears it. Madden sends it downfield, they can't quite push it back out just yet, but Foster is there, sending it off the wall, looking for an aerial commit. Can he land it? Oh, Sub Zero just gets it out of there. Blows, but not quite able to do it. And instead, now. The rest of the team, Kailua in the field. You see it, all three members playing defense. They know they got to hold the line. They want to push it out. Contest again, Juan Nicole gets it. Boo Boo not able to get the angle either. And that means the rest of the squad pushing back over. Square now moving forward, playing offense. It's a three-man commit. Square gets it in the net, though. 2-0 lead for Kailua with one minute on the clock. Yeah, you're seeing significantly less triple commits, a little bit more you know, rotational defense. There's still a miscommunication here and there. Maybe who has the better hit. But again, Rocket is such a fast-paced game. Just trying to be like, I got it. Sometimes it's very hard in time. This kickoff going to be very even up in the midfield. But we're seeing the adaptation from Kailua from game number one. Maybe Kwan on the phone not as ready for this aggression and now looking maybe to play more of the defensive side or simply get the better clears. They're losing in a lot of these clears and that's what's causing a lot of pressure to fall back into their side of the field. And again, you're seeing it. If the ball ends up in front of their goal, whether or not they're able to clear it, it's continuing to stay on that half. And possession is huge when it comes to Rocket. Absolutely. And right now, yeah, Kailua putting pressure on, keeping up that position for our pressure. Like we're talking about now, but in, uh, in moments like this, that could be the problem. Open that was there, but now Kaibo recovers. Get the members downfield. It could be a double. No, off the free bar. Sub Zero. No, they get it. 
Uh, Kalana like Nicole this. not able to fully clear it, but don't take anything away from Kailua's offense. Great touch from Sub-Zero, gets it in the net, and that should be game number two going the other way. Kailua might be able to pick this one up, and we might be tied 1-1 in this series. Yeah, three goals to zero, 20 seconds remaining. It is still possible for the Miracle comeback to happen here in game number two, but definitely not of highest probability. Looking for a little bit more clear, unfortunately not able to find it. Ball gonna go up the middle, but over the net. And these rotations gonna be huge. Demo in the back Whoa. of the net will not be able to find the top corner. And with four seconds, this game is gonna be over. We're gonna be tying the series out at one apiece. Kailua figuring out their balance. Guano Nicole will see if they can make the comeback. Wow, well done. Kailua evens it up, gets themselves back in the game. And all right. We've got a series, but now it's curious to see what is Kawana Nicole's adaptation to the way this is playing, right? We're seeing Kailua get way more aggressive, trying to multi-man commit downfield. All it takes is, I think, a little bit better positioning, right, from Kawana Nicole, get it away, and once that commit has happened, they have a wide open defense in the back. Yeah, momentum plays such a huge part. When you get the first goal, everything else is there to follow, right? When you're... when you are on the advantage team. You can simply play defense. You don't need to have that pressure of constantly getting goals over and over again. When you're on the attacking side though, when you're at the disadvantage, you have to score a goal no matter what that case is. And that's gonna continue to happen over and over again. First goal is so important. That's been the deal breaker for both of these teams here in both matches. And I think just getting the opening goal eases your, your pressure of being able to need to score another one. And, you know, they're confident in the air. They're confident on the ground. That's all they need to do is trust themselves and just shoot it into the net. Absolutely. And, I mean, let's see if that storyline holds true, right? The first team to score seems to be the one to take it away. And so far, I mean, it's been zeros on the other side of the board, right? Both maps, we got a 4-0 and a 3-0 so far. So let's see if that's what ends up being continuous. Or, I'm sorry, a 3-1 from the other side in the first map. But, anyways, we are in. Game number three, and let's see how this plays out. Another field, another day, but this time Paul and Nicole out to a jumping start. A very quick start out on the possession, but no goals as of yet. Again, best of seven, so a lot more Rocket League still here to play, and a lot more changes and adaptations to be made over the course of these games. Shot looking to be landed, will not be able to find the bottom corner. But the follow-up from the rest of the Kuwana Nicole team looking to find something Ooh. but not able to find the goal. And instead here now leaving the backfield open. Sub-Zero going to push it up. Will they be able to find the center for their team? Ball going to the middle. Will they be able to shoot it in? Madden to follow Ooh. up. And that's going to be the first goal going in the hands of Kailua. Kuwana Nicole, we've seen the trend go. Will we be able to break it going to game number three? Yeah, and we see it here. Full court press from both sides. I think both of the teams just out the gates and gunning for it this time out. They have no abandon, right? Triple commit both sides. That was at least what we saw. And now, Fubu gets the ball out first, keeps it onto the Kaido side of the map. We'll see if Sub-Zero can juggle this long enough, get it passed. But instead, actually manages to sneak it past two defenders. Fubu there waiting in the wings, ready to push back over. Bomb Foster does send it back out. Instead, Kaido now holding off an infantry, looking for another one. Square wants to back this one up, has boost, but they're going to play a little bit more defense. Hold on to their lead for now. Seems to be the call. Don't risk it. But instead, balls up. Bomb Flosser wants it, but just whips it just a little bit shy. And that means now Kailu trying to get this out of the net. Man put some speed on it. Trying to push it back, but Kawana Nicole is here to recover. Boo -boo, racing back towards the net, but Dret wants to push it back over. Gets it to the center field. Square gets it up. Instead, now they're going to push forward. Bomb Flosser gets it at once. That gets the wall. Sub-Zero shooting forward again. Not able to do it. And instead, Juan Nicole now on the offense, pushing it forward. Square wants to get it back. Instead, Bubu pushes it towards the net. Nice save from Sub-Zero, gets it downfield. Bomb Flosser the only one there, and the only one that manages to push it back out. And it looks like now they will just keep it center field for now. Yeah, center field indeed. 1-0 again. Kailua just not having the pressure to need to score, but a little bit of a mix-up when it comes to bumping each other. Ball's going to land right in front of the goal, but will not be able to find the back of the net. And another clear coming on out for Kailua. This ball hovering around middle. Self-Zero maybe look fine. Air dribble will not be able to find anything. The bomb going to interrupt that and bring it back for their team. And again, just constant air dribbles. Constant more confidence as you build up, as you get more confident playing on basically on stage in front of, you know, all the crowd, your parents, your friends. 
and on stream. So as you get more used to it, you trust your teammates a little bit more and more plays to come out as this ball is going to head onto the Kailua house. That's it over. Boo Boo wants to look for the shot, not able to do it. Square is there along with the rest of the team. They're going to get it forward now. A lot of speed on it. Bob Blossom manages to stop it, but they've got it in the corner now. On the board. Great work there to get that ball out of their half. And instead, goes up towards center. Sub Zero not even get the aerial. Square needs to land this, but without it, open net. Man and man just to get there in time. But instead, here comes the rest of the squad. They're going to the dope. The angle is just off for Bob Blossom there. Now Madden with an aerial trying to get it in. Nice juggle. Oh! Beautiful save from the other side. Quan of the call. Boo Boo manages to keep that one out. Instead, I will now back on the hunt. Still trying to keep it up. Madden looking for another aerial, dri aerial dribble. Can't quite get it in there in time. Square pushes it back forward. Nobody else to react for it. Instead, one more time, trying to set up his own shot. Sub-Zero also off on the angle. Madden third pet. No, he's going to go back to defense now. Pushes it back over and gets it back over to the orange side. Yeah, a little bit of rotation practice maybe coming out there from the side of Kailua. You know, one off the backboard. Maybe the next one. Maybe the next one. We'll see who's going to be able to shoot it. And unfortunately, Madden was like, I'm going back to the goal, guys. This is getting a little, a little sketchy. I want to make sure that we don't get scored on here. We're up in the lead, and we want to keep that moving forward. But these air dribbles getting more and more confident, more and more control heading towards their goal. Madden looking to find a shot, and we'll find the top of the net. And that's going to be the 2-0 lead now for Kailua in game number three. They want to take the advantage. They want to have the lead here going into now almost the second half of this best of seven. Very, very close one. And now that could be the nail in the coffin. If you were Kwan on the call, you were looking for that 1-1 one, one time, maybe take us to overtime. Now they need to get that early dribble or that early kickoff advantage. Instead, it looks like it pushes back field for now. Square gets it close on the corner. Bomb Foster pushes it back out. Instead, Sub-Zero keeping up the pressure, but we're seeing it again. Kailua knows what the game's plan is. They know what the objective is now. Keep it away! But just like that, Sub-Zero locks it down, says, yep, we'll take it. There's the 3-0. And I mean, what a jump up in the midst of the entire defense. Yeah, an amazing little, you know, little bounce up there. Nothing too special, just getting it over every single defender there sitting in the goal and just able to make it happen. Madden going for the boost instead. I don't know, maybe actually this is a communicated fake in some ways. Be able to take the mid boost, have a little bit more priority on the boost, and unfortunately the clear not able to follow through, gonna hit it into the bomb's car. Will they be able to find anything? Gonna go to the top of that save by the bomb, and that would have went in, so that's a big save, big momentum change. Hopefully we'll continue for the side of Juan Nicole heading into the later games. Again, 3-0, we've seen this before. Maybe not able to make it happen here, but they need to change momentum going into game number four, or they're just gonna continue to fall down this hole. Yeah, falling down the order right now, and there it is. Kailua takes the 3-0 this time. Means that they take series lead, give themselves that advantage as, you know, ever so closer and closer to match and series point. One more gets it, or one more will get them even closer to that goal. Whereas on the other side, Kwan and Nicole, now the aerial game seems to be the thing they need to figure out. You know, I mean, I think if we're looking at this one here, a lot of those goals scored by Kailua off of great aerial control. Yeah, they started off with really good aerial control. Sometimes it falls back, goes back to the ground game a little bit, but keeping it unpredictable is also such a big deal, right? When you're able to be so confident in your aerial game, now the other team has to worry about it. And when they're, oh, you're going to go up in the air, you're going to air dribble it back again, and you just go, I'm going to keep it on the ground on this route. Then you don't know which one they're going for. And like you're saying, that aerial game becoming so much more confident, so much stronger for the side of Kailua. Not able to exactly predict maybe if they're going to air dribble it into the corner, onto the lower half of the goal, top left, top right, wherever. Right? They have a lot more of that control. And that can simply make the difference here. Being able to defend it in the goal, especially when you have so little time to react. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, I think that's where the adaptation, the quickness, the change up in strategy seems to be going well. The discipline and also covering your bases, I think something to point out and reward on Kailua's side, right? We talked about it in that game, the, the single, then the double, right? Instead of going for the triple commit, right? That third rebound off the backboard, they say, no, we'll back it up. We'll play defense. We'll make sure that they can't catch up to us when it was 1-0 in the series. Now let's see how it adapts as we go into game number four. 
glad to see this map actually. It's, it's been quite a while since I've actually played the game and then grinded out competitive. It's actually, I believe this is a brand new map or one of the new er maps being added into the game. So fun to be able to see a little bit of variety here with the random standard arenas, but very quick to see a lot of pressure coming out from Kuana Nakoa. And that's something I really want to see. But unfortunately, that commit is just going to come back to bite them. Kailua taking the early lead. 30 seconds into this game. Already going to be leading 1-0. to zero. A really good job from Kuana Nakoa. But unfortunately, a little too hard of a commitment there. I mean, that's the danger of the triple commit, right? It gives you all of the offensive tools. None of the defensive side. And just by not able or not being able to get that ball right where they want it into the net. It leaves them vulnerable now. Immediately we're seeing it this time out. Kailu taking the defensive stance now that they've got their point, they've got their advantage. They can just hold on to it. They're gonna move forward if they can keep the ball on the orange side of the field. But instead, now Juan Nicole moving forward. Wants to get the ball control, gets it around the corner, but another triple connect could spell trouble. Ubu does manage to push it forward, gets it up in the air. It is saved out though. Like the squad pushing forward, pushing back. You're seeing it there. Kailua holding out by the net. Holding out on their side of the map. But when they miss like that, could that be the problem? Square manages to save it and get it across towards the corner. And no, no, still meanwhile. Pushing forward. Demo is out. Madden wants to get it in. Sets it up. Looking for the commit. Another demo right in front of the net, but not able to do it. Looking for the assisted shuffle there, not quite ready. As it said, oh. We have, I don't know. We'll take a look at that one again, but in the midst all of that chaos, Sub Zero manages to take advantage and get himself another goal in the tool lead. Yeah, a little unfortunate there. We saw maybe a discount, maybe just a, a, a miss. An you know, unplugged controller, as simple as could be. Seems like Foster's back, so it could be a very simple issue that could have been fixed there. But, again, Kailua is able to take the lead. But a little more time on your hands to go on the call to be able to make that comeback already. A nice ball going to be cleared out to the side of Kailua, but will not be able to follow up. Shot making a little bit of worry there down the middle, but nothing to find. And it's clear, again, these clears need to be maybe a little bit farther, a little bit higher, put a little bit more pressure onto the side of Kailua. A triple commit onto that save. Luckily, we'll be able to hit it out to the side, so nothing to follow up. Madden maybe look to find the double off the backboard. We'll not be able to find the goal, nor a teammate. And that, unfortunately, flips into the ball, clears it from square, and now leaves... Or, sorry, not square. Leaves it in a really awkward position for the side of Kailua. A little bit awkward, but instead, Quadra Nicole trying to get in front of it. Square with a nice angle though does manage to tip it in from the side. Bounces it off of Boo Boo, but Square is there and already pushes it over, gets it into the net. That was a that was a clencher there. The, the famous Rocket League crossbar, the best defender in the game. A little concerning, right? When you're you're looking at it and you're seeing if that's gonna hit the crossbar, if you're gonna get the goal when you shoot it just a little too high, luckily able to stick it right underneath and get into the top bar. Juan Rico able to clear the ball out. Two people on the side of Kailua committing. Square, last defender left. We'll be able to get the clear out to the right-hand side and be able to find out to midfield. Will Juan Rico be able to answer this though? Sub-Zero take the ball away from Dret and the continue of the pressure from Kailua down midfield. Will he be able to find anything past that? One more defender left to pass and will not be able to make it there. Abubu keeping up the defense down midfield. Oh, yeah. Foster looking for the two touch, but no! Madden spoils his play there. Not quite able to go in and instead forces them back. It's a chaos in the midfield. Everyone just trying to get it over to the other team's territory. As once again, Bob Foster gets a shot out with Madden is there for the defense. Pushing forward now, Madden first, looking for the offense. Not quite able to do it in mid defenders though. Dret pushes over, Square wants it as well, but knocks up into the backcourt. Square for now, Madden is there. The rest of the team holds steady on the angle. Threat waiting for the side, looking for just a light touch in, but not quite able to land it. And then again, we see it, right? Kwan Nicole immediately retreats, reels back, all three members pulling back towards the net to make sure they clear it off the net. And then Square gets another one, just barely misses off the crossbar. Yeah, trusting your teammates is such a big part of Rocket League have to trust that your teammate is going to get that ball, is going to hit it when they are looking to get to that ball. Goal! Look at it finds up. Zero finds the pinch. The 50 goes in favor of Kailua and another goal going to the side of Kailua, making this lead even greater. 
Now again, not impossible to make this comeback, but near unlikely when you see from the side of Kwan Nakua, so much pressure coming out from Kailua constantly in your face, constantly looking to take the 50-50s, and they're winning those 50-50s, which brings so much more of a problem. Yeah, it really does. It's now we look for even more going across. The rest of the team is going so far so good. Yeah, so far so good for both sides, but unlucky for them. They're pushing forward and trying so hard to get this pressure, just unable to find the good hits and trying to find good contact down the middle. We'll be able to fall lower, but not able to get there and looking to find more pressure. Kailua maybe stuck in a little bit of an awkward situation, but able to get out of it. Madden looking to clear the ball. Maybe another touch from Sub-Zero. We'll be able to find it down the middle, but Wanako there to stop it square up off the backboard. Will they be able to find a follow-up? One more hit going down into the corner. Not able to find it on the third. And that's going to be another escape going in the way for Kwan Nicole. But unfortunately, with only eight seconds left, this game's looking just about over. The 3-0, 3-1 lead, sorry, is going to go in favor of Kylo. We'll see maybe how long this rule zero holds out and keeping the ball up in the air. But the inevitable has shown up. Kylo taking the third game for themselves and taking the 3-1 lead. 3-1 yeah, victory there, or rather 3-1 series score, I should say as they managed to hold the line. Kailua doing incredibly well so far now, getting themselves into the position here and putting themselves at now series point, right? One more win is all it takes, and they will be done for the day. They will be the champions, as now we see on the other side, right? Kwan Nicole conversing, conferencing. What is the adaptation, right? What is the team going to be looking for? How are they going to manage to bring themselves back into this one? That's the goal, right? I mean, they obviously had a great start to the series. It's now about what can you adapt, right? How well, you know, can you change that game plan as you come in, as things get changed, as maybe the plans get spoiled, or as your opponent adapts to your style, what are you going to be able to do next? And that's what I'm curious from the side of Kwan Nicole. Yeah, we just saw League of Legends, right? It's a very much a counter game sometimes. It's you see who picks top lane and then you follow it up with who's going to pick, you know, how do you counter pick that? Rocket League falls in a very similar way where but each game is its own counter pick. It's your own counter strategy, right? You notice something different on team number 1. How do you adapt as team number 2? Each and every game it changes and that's the game of Rocket League. It constantly is a how do I adapt to my opponents? How do I change my gameplay? And we saw that from game number 1 to game number 2, Kalu making key changes able to make a lot more pushing, you know, pushing power, a lot more pressure. And that simply is screwing up the rotation sometimes for the side of Kwan Nicole and being able to recompose as Kwan Nicole. Find more time to have possession of that ball Ooh. and not find moments like that where Sub-Zero is able to get a goal down in the middle. Unfortunate for them, just not able to get the rotations and sadly, uh, getting stuck on the wall. You know, that corner gets a little finicky trying to get out of it. Yeah, it really does. But with that said, as we go into potential series point, we do want to give a proud shout out and thank you to Hawaiian Telecom as they are proud to be the title sponsor of the Hawaii Esports League. Imagining the possibilities with Pi Optics and experiencing the difference of ultra fast fiber internet only from Hawaiian Telecom. Just like that though, hold on, hold that thought. All right, never mind, we're good. They're gonna get it cleared out. I mean, obviously, Hilo wants to put the nail in the coffin. Here, not quite able to do it. It's a slow floater in, but Sub Zero manages to take that one and get them the 2 0 lead. Yeah, but even the slightest differences in internet, right, can make the difference. Ping, even sometimes having a 5 or 10 difference, can make those 50 50s that much more possible for yourselves. And, you know, Hawaiian Telecom there to help you out. That goal for Sub Zero, able to find the top, just like you're saying, very slow floater up into the top corner. We'll be able to find the early 2-0 lead. Sub-Zero looking to make another one happen, but not able to find contact. And that clear is going to slowly come up with one on the call from the side of Albubu. Albubu wants to get it down the field. It looks like that's what he's going to do. Set up is there. Nobody else on the right side of the field ready to push back out. Then those one on the call here and ready to dance on the back side of the net as they are trying to just force it through against Kailua to slow along the ground game. Threat pushes forward but not able to get it back cleared. He's a bump boss now. Forward out. Gets boost control. Gets the full boost. Wants to get it downfield. Has a little speed. Will travel. Sub-Zero manages to 
stop it in his face square. Kicks it back over, but Boo Boo will get it back out instead. Rest of the squad threat, not quite able to do it. Will get demoed there for his troubles. And that means Guasico is still looking for the offensive capabilities here. Playing the ground game maybe just not quite enough. As they are pushing it forward. One more hit. Threat, nice save. Gets him out of there. But not out of trouble yet. Kylo on the offense. Square pushes it forward. Still can't get the ball out there. Side of the field. And now finally Dret ready to move. But look at it. The rest of Kylo waiting in the wings. For the defense on that shot. And it looks like now they're going to push it forward again. Madden opting to just hold back. Just being a menace in the goalpost. They know what they need to do to take home the victory. But as I say it. Kawada Nicole finds the window. What a nice angle just in the top half of the net. Bob Foster with a nice touch gets it right over Madden and there it is. They're still in it. That's like finding the top right so perfectly. I mean you cannot get any more perfect than that. The flip off the back of the corner of the car. Gonna be able to find the corner and find the one spot that I don't think they were ready for. Madden was waiting in the goal. Playing defense. Playing the I have two goals for my team. I want to make sure you guys don't score any. But... Luckily for the side of Kwan Nicole, they could find that corner. Sub Zero able to take it out of the corner here and push it down middle. Madden to follow up. We'll be able to find maybe the arrow into the wall. Pitch going down the middle, but will not be able to fall in front of the goal. And now the score being two to one. Two minutes left to go. This is looking so much more possible. Kwan Nicole off the back, but will be able to find the goal. Pitch not going to be able to have it. And now another attempt going to be looked for, but triple commit onto this ball, onto this clear. The bomb looking bomb for an blaster. air dribble. Will they be able to find a flip reset? Find a Ooh. flip reset. Not able to find the goal. Now Boo Boo going to take their turn. But Square going to be there to ruin it. Time to take it out and time to clear. Take a little bit of a deep breath, Wait. but maybe not just yet. Ooh. The bomb blaster <laughs> able to find the goal. Tie this game up and make this one hell of a series. What a pressure moment. And, you know, we talked about it earlier. Kawana McCall needing to match Kailua on the air game, and that's exactly what we're seeing, right? They're willing to take to the skies and make it a skill battle, and that's what you gotta love about this here, being tied up in game the number five. Kawana McCall, pressure on both sides now. A little bit more scrambling, a little bit more franticness. No safety net for either side here. Kailua, of course, able to lose this map if they need to, but would like to close it out here, Kawana McCall wants to bring it back or at least force the overtime right to close out the game what a touch from boo boo just manages to clear it that could have been a dangerous position was played in any other way but now the rest of the squad pushes out and it's going to be up to kailo to get back to the net madden oh square misses it square was ready for it but just missed times the jump at the last second and that means kwan and nicole takes the advantage Oh, that was there. He was ha he had the speed, but not able to do it. Sometimes those types of balls where you're you're facing the opposite direction are the hardest to read. And just like that, Juan Michael making his comeback. And like we were talking about earlier, momentum is such a huge part of this game. They're finding their momentum. They're finding the rhythm. They are figuring out just a little bit more about Kailua. Ooh. Shot going up top. Will not be able to find. Will land just above that crossbar. And now with the lead, 3-2, to two, 50 seconds left to go. Kailua needs to be able to score not just one, but two. One to head to sudden death, two, to be able to take the lead here and take the championship. But Kwan Nicole looking to make that just as harder. Will not be able to find the 50. Sub-Zero making the save of their lifetime, saving this game, putting their chances back into their hands. 1v1, falling down the other side, unless Albu can make it back in time. Albu going to find the clear. Will they be able to keep this ball away for 30 more seconds? Looking to maybe take the flick down the middle. Pressure. We'll be able to find the right side of the goal. And that's going to secure it just about as close as you can get. Two goal lead, 20 seconds left to go. Aboob makes this much more possible. Yeah, look at that. I mean, we're talking about momentum, and that is what I think we're seeing here, right? The amount of speed that Kwan and Nicole is just pressing their downfield advantage every round now, right? They can afford to lose up on the kickoff here, but just look at how quickly they are going to count. There's no, it's not even a hesitation from the squad anymore. Get the, once they get the ball out of their side of the net, they are immediately chasing it down one way or another. Now, Kailu frantically trying to get this one over, but I think we are going to a map number six. Uh, game number six, that's going to finish off. Kwan Nakua taking 
their second point and bringing this down to a one game split now. Heading into game number six, we're getting to those overtime phases, right? We're getting to that point where it's no longer a one-sided match. This is a match. This is a series to be looking at, and it's an exciting series. You hear the crowd behind us. They're excited to look at this game six. We're excited to keep going. Absolutely, and I think that is a big thing to keep your eyes on here. Kailua had the advantage, right, on series point. But now how do they recover the nerves a little bit, right? That can be one of the most dangerous positions to be in, right? When you're about to take the win, when you are almost ready for that victory lap, right? And then it just starts slipping away, right? You start to see the nerves kind of crumble as that, you know, they were this close, right? It's just a little bit more. That, that fallacy of only one more map is all we need, right? Only one more game is all we need. And now Kwan Nicole, momentum in their court, right? You see it. They have the rest of their support group behind them ready to cheer them on to victory. Kailua, same thing, though. They've got their members behind them as well. Curious to see now, game six, who can calm it down, right? Who can bring it back? Who can take advantage of where they're at now? Yeah, we see it at all levels of play in Rocket League, right? You can look at the pros and you get to this series where you are one point away and you lose that next game. Sometimes that's a little bit of a, it screws with your momentum. It screws with your, your mojo, right, in some sense. And now you're so worried about just being able to clear it out. Finally, the icy fields here will be able to be, will this be our last series or are we going to continue to go along? So we're able to find two demos in the back line, but will not be able to capitalize on that. And here, one Point splits this series. And this clear gonna go deep. No one in the backfield for the side of Kwan Rakoa, but will not be able to follow up in time on side of Kalua. And now we're looking for a goal. We're looking for something to open this game up. Who's gonna be able to take the lead first? We'll have to see. Yeah. You're seeing it there, right? Some of these pauses, these hesitations. The teams are both trying to figure out what's the smartest play to make. Who do we need to send where? Where do we put them? What is the best spot to have a defender? Madden open net, but not able to do it. Just off on the angle, Sub-Zero pushes it forward as well. But Juan and Cole was there to receive and defend. Now they get it across to the blue side of the map, but now they're gonna play it. I think everyone seems to be playing it just a touch slower. Madden gets it up in the air, but it's instead Bob Flosser. Oh! Off the side, not able to get the goalie or the defenders to block it off. And instead, that angle, another slow floater. Sub-Zero wanted it, but couldn't get the angle. And Kawana Nakoa now takes the lead. Come on, Sub-Zero, this is, this, is this is your arena to play on. It's all after your name right here in, this, in the icy field. But, luck, unlucky for them, not able to find it. Will they be able to find revenge onto that goal? No. Will go off to the left and the continue his pressure is going to continue flick going up the middle and will not oh. be able to stick it on the save square gonna just barely miss it and the bomb floss able to find the second goal for Kwan and Nicole such a huge goal for them we've seen it before the first score means so much and now being up two to zero it's even harder to change that momentum and change that lead for the side of Kailua yeah I mean if you're on Kailua's side right that is an almost an unforced error right you're seeing it there both defenders being there means that the angle on the return wasn't quite great. And that causes problems, but never mind. Take it right back. Sub-Zero takes it matters into his own hands, pushes it forward, gets the nice tap over. And when Kwan and Nicole tries to defend, they can't quite get it cleared. Means that it's an assist into the net. Kailua, signs of life, could be back in this one. One goal separates both sides. One goal separates them indeed. A little bit of unfortunate Wait. happenings there, but the net, will they be able to find it? 40 boosts on hand. Save will be found from Obubu, and that's going to be a little bit more of a chance there for Juan Nicole, but it's not over just yet. The ball needs to go across after the tap field point, and it's not going to find it. Backboard won't be able to find the ground double, and that's going to be a tied game now. 2-2, two to two. Kailua making the comeback, and this is... What a hell of a game. I couldn't have asked for anything more in the finals of Rocket League. Yeah, the last game of the weekend for us here. 3-2 tied up in game number six. Either team firing on all cylinders. I mean, look at that push. But oh, off the crossbar. Could it go the other way? Kailua needs to get back. Square pushes it forward. Dread is there for the return and the save. Other side, meanwhile, they get it across. And now, Juan Nicole regroups on their corner of the map. Pushing it forward, Sub-Zero looking for another play, takes it to the skies, but Dret is there to hold it as well. The bomb Flosser gets it around the corner, Madden pushing it up again. 
But it looks like Juan Nicole is ready this time. Goes wide. Al Bubu wants to get it over. Bomb Blosser does win the contest. Means that they can push it out for now. Boost control not quite in Juan and Nicole's favor, but they will get a demo from the side of Kailua, meaning that man advantage pushing it down. And instead, Sub Zero now again on the offense. Yeah, you can see the nerves building up on both sides. Slight misses coming on through. Things that you wouldn't expect them to miss. Looking for maybe the air dribble, but the redirect not going to actually come from Ooh. the bomb. But instead, Square making the save. They're making up for maybe a couple of miss hits going up that field. And now his ball stuck on the center. Sub Zero looking to try to clear, but will not be able to find the clear. Instead, Bomb Blaster with ball control will not be able to find the net nor a center. And this ball returns back to midfield. Maybe looking for who's going to be able to press the attack next. Ball going to the corner, we'll be able to bounce to the middle and redirect, gonna come in and Madden again! Who else but Madden is gonna get this goal for them, take them into the lead, and now they're looking at series point, they're looking at the possible win, a minute and 55 seconds left to go, Kawana Nicole needs to make their goals happen now, or else Kailua will walk away with the trophy, walk away with the win, we'll see, can they make this comeback, or will they fall? Will they, what will happen here, right? We talked about it there, the nerves, the touch, just the ability to calm it down or rather ramp it up depending on if you need that energy, that momentum. No. It's a wide one from downtown square. Just sends it up and that arc, the lob gets it over and I don't know, that's a beautiful shot. But that's the danger of the triple commit. We've been talking about it all series and that's what happens when it goes through. Yeah, when you're down a goal, right, you want to get you want to get that goal back and you're just constantly trying to push up. You're try constantly trying to put pressure. Sometimes you don't have a man in the backfield or even in the midfield for that matter. And you're left in a really awkward situation. Ball going up in the middle. Subs are looking to follow up, but we're not be able to find anything. They're going to come out. And now we're back to this game. Wanakua needs to be able to find something. Madden looking for the dribble. Will they be able to find anything Ooh, more? No. Nice Drek going to save it and take it out. Give them another chance here. Minute and 15 seconds left to go. Will they be able to find anything? Over dribble there. coming down the middle. Fake going to oh, come out. Oh. Not going to be able to find the cut across. And another save. Madden keeping them alive in this game. Keeping them going ahead. Drek will be able to get it out. Ooh. Goal not going to be found from Sub-Zero. And it's close game. One minute left. Two goals split the difference. Not much time. So much on the line. So much more to go. This last minute could feel like an eternity if you're on the side of Juan and Nicole. They just need to get it across. Looking for another one. Threat gets it forward, but instead two members in the midfield. They heal back, trying to get some boost. Now looking for their advantage. Al Bubu wants to get it across. Dribbles forward, looking for the play, looking for his angle. Has to outplay the defenders here. Goes up in the air, across the backboard. Dread is there for the push. Al Bubu not able to do anything more without a boost. But instead, they manage to jump it back. But here comes the ball blosser. It's in. 22 seconds. That's all they've got to work with. Can they take us to the seventh game? And you have to keep in mind, sometimes that's not just 22 seconds, right? They keep the ball in the air at zero seconds. It can go on forever. You need to watch this game. If you're not watching it in the arena, make sure you guys turn your eyes to the screens. These players are so close. They're fighting for the championship. They're one goal away. Juan Nicole looking to make this tied game. Looking to bring it to sudden Dredd. death. Looking to bring it to overtime. Dredd looking to find the shot. Not able to find anything. Kailua looking to just keep this lead. They want to hold it out. Four seconds left to go. They need to keep the ball get in up, the air. It's going to go up into the air. But unfortunately, it doesn't look like anyone's going to be there to keep it up. Juan Nicole off the backboard. Oh! Will not be able to find it off the wall. And Kailua is going to be your champions here at the Hawaii Esports League for Rocket League. Middle school champions walking away. See that golden color on their shirts. They're walking away with the golden medal here as well. Absolutely. What a series we had here today between Kailua Intermediate and Prince David Kwanako Middle School. But that is it, folks. I mean, what a series. What a game. Absolutely phenomenal to watch between both teams as we see them. I mean... That was an exciting one. I, I, I really don't think you know, for these for these kids to be able to walk home with that experience, that memory. I mean, check the hands, right? I'm sure <laughs> they must be shaking right now after that one. Anything you can think of, shaking, sweating. My palms are sweating here just watching this game. I know what it's like to be in that spot right here. You're, you're so close to winning that game. And unfortunately for Kwan Nicole, not able to come on through with that last goal. But what a fight they put up, right? They were down 3-1, to one, able to make that comeback one goal away from tying it up and tossing it to that all 
important game number seven. Unfortunately, not able to make it there, but Kailua making the adaption so early on, able to take a three game lead, right? Three in a row, and that's such a big deal, and that's probably what won them the game there. Such, so much of an advantage. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you got to give it up. You got to give it up to both sides, but that was truly a series to behold. Absolutely incredible. For those of you that are in venue, please come on down. Come on, have a seat in the front as we now get to crown those champions. But with that said, we will be going to just a short little bit of a break as we get ready for the award ceremony. So don't go anywhere, folks. We'll be right back. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are here to crown our champions for the Rocket League portion of the Hawaii Esports League Spring 2023 Championship presented by Vanta and Hawaiian Telecom. So without further ado, let's bring up your runner-ups in Prince David Kwanakol Middle School. Come on up. Come on over to the front. Congratulations. The runners up. What a crazy series that was. Turn around, guys. Yep, turn around. Face forward, face forward. There you go. Yay. <laughs> yeah, let's hear it once again for Kawana Nicole Middle School. Yep, and then please head over to the banner and the red carpet to take your picture there. But. After all is said and done, after what a crazy series that was, there can be only one champion for Rocket League. And of course, that is going to go to Kailua Intermediate. Come on down. Once again, they receive their trophy and their Zippies gift cards. Congratulations, Kailua Intermediate. Hold it up. Yeah, there you go. All right, and then once again, head over to the banner and the red carpet. That will be where we will take any pictures. Before we out, Ed, do you want to say any few words to the crowd? Yep, here you go. I just want to say thank you to everyone for taking the time to come out, to all the competitors. You did such a great job. You're, keep your heads up. You're going to come back next season, I'm sure. But thank you all to the sponsors. You know, your dedication and you know, support have been awesome just to make this happen. So I wish you all you know, a really good rest of the day. And if I can, I would love to do a group photo at, over at the photo booth so we're all in it together. So if you wouldn't mind, after the teams actually have their individual photos, let's all get together and have one last Ohana. Thank you so much.